Hello, I'm Fast Lawyer. Today we're going to do a Let's Play and Initial Impressions review for B Rack Pool Billiards VR, a game released on the Steam Store today, April 2nd, 2022, for the HTC Vive, Valve Index, and the Oculus Rift. It is free to play, sort of, not really. <laughs> it's, uh, you have to pay. To play after a certain point so uh you do get you do get money so there's in-game currency and you get 2500 of this in-game currency just for logging in the first time and then if you drop below 1000 trc um you get bonus 1000 trc and obviously since that's the mechanic in the game, you can go to the Hustling Arena, where you can bet that in-game currency. And as you can see right now, there's six active players betting. Uh, it starts off at 250. I think that's the minimum bet. Yes, that is. 250 is the minimum. So that is the minimum just to play in the Hustling Arena. So that would be 1,000. So that would be four free games you can play each day if you go below a thousand and then you'd have to spend real life money to keep playing if you do end up winning though and not losing your money or what are the chances of that happening um you can spend that money on these items i don't know if there's other items you can buy but uh, it talks about reach level 10. I think that you have to reach that level just to uh, be able to buy them. I don't think you just reaching level 4 is enough to buy it. You can also get the beginner pack, which includes 30-day free VIP room access, along with the in-game currency and a pool queue and a break queue. Or the pro pack, $20. 180-day free VIP room access, 20 bucks. You get 150 TRC, the Domin Dominator Green Play Q, and the Crusher Break Q. So I don't know which one's the Crusher. Which one's the Crusher? I, I, oh, this must be it. It's a Dominator, right? So as you can see, this Dominator gives you more spin, better accuracy. So it gives you an in-game advantage. Some might say that's pay to win. Some might say that. And uh, you get bonus coins for buying the $20. So use real-life money to get in-game currency to keep playing. Now, tournaments are coming soon. And you can also get into the VIP room. And it's currently free until August 10th. So if you're going to download and play this game, do so now until August 10th, where you can still play for free in the VIP room. So let's go ahead and do that. So... You can play multiplayer free uh, with friends currently uh, if you create or join a VIP room that's open. And you can make your VIP room you know, open to the public. Um, you can set the bet. So you can do $0 bet so that, that you can play without gambling here. And there's two game types, 8-ball, 9-ball, race 2-1, race 2-2. I actually don't know what the race to one, two, three means. And aiming aid enabled or disabled. I recommend disabled. I don't like the aiming aid at, at all. Uh, it says search YouTube. We're going to go with search, but I don't think it works. So let's do pull search. It's not working. Hmm, okay. But, you know, it's a nice, it's a nice looking area. You know, this is. This might be cool to play with friends until August 10th before they charge you all money for the pleasure. Yeah, so free until August 10th. And what you can do totally free is practice. The aiming aid is on by default. Let's go ahead and uh, I wish there was an AI you could practice with, but, but there is not. So... By the way, you can play seated, and you can press the left trigger, and it'll help you if you're playing seated. But since we're playing standing, we don't need that. And uh, we can lean in. 
we can press the right trigger to set our cue. And then, boom. All right, not bad, not a bad break. Not a bad, you know, nothing went in. Um, you do have full locomotion, smooth or snap turning as an option. Now I have aiming aid on, but I'm gonna turn it off pretty soon, but I just wanted to show it in action. So this is aiming aid. So you see that? You see how it's kind of guiding, guiding you here and I don't like it. I wouldn't use it, but it is there. So, you know, for a total beginner, sure. But, you know, I'm a pool hustler. No, not really. <laughs> not really. <laughs> but I just don't like it. I like I like a realistic pool. So, again, the, I play standing just because I think you can do this stuff a lot easier. And then you can just set when you're happy with the position of the cube. Ah, uh, okay. Not good. Okay. But you get the point. Now, uh, let's try to get our our ball in a position where we need to use an aid so I can show that off as well. Uh, I don't know. Actually, I don't know. Can I get to the to the yellow? What do you guys think? I don't know that I can get to the yellow. Oh, I did, but I just didn't hit it correctly. Okay. So uh, it's kind of perfect that it's there because I kind of want to show something off. So uh, there is an aid that you can use. Here it is. All right. So this helps you out. Oh, so I don't know if you guys see that, but the camera is constantly resetting. It happens a lot. I mean, not all the time, but often enough. And it's... Very annoying. I don't like it. It happens automatically, and I haven't found a way to turn it off. So here, the only option is to turn aiming aid on and off. Over there, the only settings are left-handed mode is available, along with turning on smooth turning. So I think it's snap turn by default, and you can turn on smooth turning. Those are the only options. I don't like. I don't like this resetting camera thing. That, this. Yeah, do you, do you guys see that? The resetting camera, it's very disorienting. It's really bothering me. It's really making it diff it's really making it difficult for me to play. Yeah. I the camera kept resetting and I couldn't get a good. That's my excuse anyway. <laughs> uh let's leave. Okay. So uh you can create your own avatar, like I said, smooth turn, on or off, left-handed mode, on or off. You can change avatar. This is my avatar. I, I do like all the avatars available. It looks pretty cool. And, uh, you know, this game does have good pool physics. The visuals also look good. The map looks good. Uh, but I really hate this resetting camera. The camera resets automatically. It's constantly, like, shifting. And it does affect gameplay, but it also affects your comfort. I, I don't like it. It's it's annoying. And the bigger issue, though, is the monetization. The monetization here, um, this developer is obviously preying upon gambling addicts. You know, this is predatory monetization. It's not good. I, I, I don't... There might be a situation someday where I might be okay with this type of monetization for a game. You know, if it's cosmetics, it's one thing. You know, cosmetics I can get behind and support, okay? It's a way to support development. Uh, but this is kind of like pay to win. You know, you get better uh, cues. You get better equipment. You play pool better by buying the more expensive cues. I mean, <laughs> and again, I'm pretty sure these are monetized. Like, uh, well, I mean, I, I'm sure they are with this beginner, advanced, and pro pack. What I don't know is if you can buy these um, just by playing the game. But again, even to, to level up, I'm pretty sure you need to go to the hustling area, which requires money. So either way, you know, it requires money, whether you can do it completely just from the daily give out. So it's another question. I'm not 100% sure on that. But definitely the these packs here are, are pay to win, definitely, because it gives you an advantage, an upper leg on the competition who don't have those. So I can't support this predatory uh, monetization by these devs, especially when there's a better alternative. Um, there's Sports Bar VR. I own Sports Bar VR. I bought it. 
uh, unfortunately, from the Oculus Store. I wish I had bought the Steam Store version now, but I own the Oculus Store version. But um, I would say that game has pull physics just as good. Plus, it has uh, enemy opponent AI that you can play against in case there's nobody there. So in that way, it's better. Um, I think the visuals are on par with, with this. I, I wouldn't say that the visuals here are much better. Um, and the physics are, are about the same. So I would definitely say Sports Bar VR is the better option. It's only $20, and it often goes on sale. Um, like I said, it has online multiplayer. And uh, you can play stuff besides pool. It has other games available. I know you can play darts. Um, I believe you can also play ice uh, air hockey. And I want to say you can play chess, but I'm not 100% sure on that one. It's been a while since I played it. <laughs> like two years or something. Uh, but yeah. This is... Uh, you know, just a game that I think is good as far as the visuals, the physics. Except for the resetting camera. I really wouldn't have that big of a complaint against this game. But the monetization policy is bad. And that's the reason I can't recommend uh, the Rack Pool Billiards VR. Anyways, I'm Fast Lawyer. If you enjoyed my video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, have a wonderful day. Goodbye.